Hello, everybody, and welcome back to SideQuest. Today, we have got some descriptions to read. I have been putting this off for way, way too long, so I think it is finally time we start reading some of these descriptions for all of these items I've been getting, some of which I probably should have been using, or at least paying some attention to. So, let's get to it. Poison Moss. A faintly poisonous clump of moss. When ingested, it counteracts poison and cleanses one's insides. If enough poison builds up in the body to break out and cause poisoning, your HP will start to decrease. If you wish to stay alive, you would do well to keep a supply close to hand. That is true, I saw how fast-acting that poison was. Monastery Charm. A blessed charm cures poison and restores HP. Many such charms were blessed in reconstructed ancient ceremonies carried out in the Monastery of Lindelt, now known as the New Home of Miracles. Though it may lack the power of an original, in circumstances dire enough, an imitation can be quite enough. I assume the item is consumed in using it, like it's not reusable, right? Surely not. Divine Blessing. Holy water endowed with a divine blessing, cures status effects and fully restores HP. Water blessed by an ancient goddess. Her name is long forgotten, and the Magic Academy of Melfia denies even her existence. In any age, there are those who refuse to see reason. It is their meddling that distorts the truth. Hmm. Who is that ancient goddess, I wonder? I know of a ancient goddess to whom these divine blessings once applied. And if it has been long enough ago, maybe her name would be forgotten. Interesting to know why the Magic Academy of Melfia would deny her existence, though. Dark Troches. Troches? Troches? I don't know. Dark Troches. Troches with an inexplicably pungent odor. Temporarily boosts dark defense. Verbal histories often mention Saint Elizabeth. Her uniquely concocted medicines and potions are still widely used today. Elizabeth. I know an Elizabeth. A very mushroomy Elizabeth. Hmm. Common fruit. A spotted fruit temporarily boosts poison resist. This common fruit has no taste, but when facing a true test of metal, its benefits could make the difference between life and death. Hmm, preventative medicine. The best kind. Alright, so I've got a few kinds of weapon damage element boosters. We've got the aromatic ooze for magic damage, gold pine resin for lightning damage, dark pine resin for dark damage, I guess. Don't know much about dark damage. Effective against enemies that fear dark, such as clerics and magical creatures. Oh, good to know. Lightning damage is good against those that are resistant to magic and fire. Magic damage is good against heavily armored or creatures with thick scales. Hmm. I'll try to keep that in mind. A flame butterfly. Bottle filled with dried red butterflies. Stimulation of these rare butterflies creates a small flame, allowing torches to be lit on the go. That's convenient. These butterflies exude secretions which ignite upon exposure to air, protecting them from natural predators. Known and loved as handy fire lighters, but feared as the catalysts of dangerous fires when found in swarms. Yeah, that would be a problem. Rusted coin. An old rusted coin. Crushing the coin temporarily boosts luck. This rusted coin gives you that little extra bit of luck, making items and the like easier to find. The coin is engraved with the image of a god that was worshipped in ancient times, but no one knows its true origins. So, all the coins that we found back in Dark Souls 1 each had the image of a different god on it, I think. An old god or saint. I wonder which old coin this was. Lloyd's Talisman. A talisman used by cleric knights. Blocks Estus recovery within a limited area. It is said that the cleric knights used these talismans to hunt down accursed undead. Cleric knights fight with pride, and by blocking the recovery of the undead, they can also fight with impunity. Sublime Bone Dust. Charred Ashen Bones. Cast them into the far fire in Majula to increase the HP restored with each use of your flask. Ooh. So, this is the new Firekeeper soul. Excellent. They say these are the remains of a saint who cast himself into the bonfire, but we'll never know for sure, for soot and ashes tell no story. Ooh. That's... very important. That might well mean the remains of our Dark Souls 1 character. If so, that's awesome. Soul of the Last Giant, the surviving giant who was bound below the Forest of Giants. The Lord of Giants who had brought rack and ruin to the entire kingdom was said to have been felled by an unknown warrior. His beaten and broken remains were then dragged beneath the stronghold where he was sealed away. Use the special Soul of the Last Giant to acquire numerous souls or create something of great worth. Okay. Soul of the Pursuer who lurks in Drang Lake. 
The pursuer who seeks the bearer of the sign, which I'm assuming is the dark sign, which is why it keeps coming after me, will not rest until his target is slain. Don't all of us undead have the dark sign, though? Like, everybody, all the other characters I've run into here? I don't know. Use the special soul of the pursuer to acquire... Yeah, da-da. Dragon Rider soul. Soul of a dragon rider who faithfully served King Vendrick, who is, I think, the king in charge of this place, who I am ultimately trying to get to, if memory serves. Long ago, the dragon riders mounted worms and were feared on the battlefield for their unparalleled strength. Flexile Sentry Soul. The Flexile Sentry is a merciless creature whose purpose is to punish the undead. Hmm. I have three fragrant branches of yore now, and I have found three of those petrified statues. So I should probably go back and use these on those. The only thing that I've been concerned about is, like, are there more statues than there are fragrant branches of yore in the world? But even then, I guess, it's not like I will know without looking it all up which ones I should use on which statues, so... I don't know, maybe I should just go use them as I see fit and not worry so much about it. I mean, what else is New Game Plus for? Hide Knight Sword. Straight sword originating in Hide. A special alloy makes it very durable. The composition of the alloy of these swords remains a mystery, but... But in Drunk Lake, the attempt to imitate it resulted in the similar brightened steel. Hmm. The Drang Lake Sword. Great sword of Drummond Royal Army Captain. An old and unadorned sword, perhaps, but the pride and joy of this venerable captain. An heirloom passed from grandfather to father, and then from father to son. Drummond and those before him used this sword to repel those who would threaten their great land. Sounds like an interesting bunch. Bandit Axe. An axe of bandits from the Forasan outskirts. Very sturdily built for the armament of a bandit. When Forosa fell to war, its citizens were left landless, and entirely to their own devices. Many were reduced to thievery, while Forosan knights scattered to other lands as sellswords. There's lots of lands to keep track of, it feels like. Actually, there's probably not a ton of them. There's probably just a bunch of new ones I'm not familiar with that are getting referenced multiple times. Old Knight Halberd. An undated halberd, wielded by a warrior from a time so ancient that there exists no record of his endeavors, has extremely low durability. Sometimes, just as a thing falls to pieces, it unleashes its last flash of great power. That's interesting. I don't recognize the look of it. Wonder what'll happen. The whip! I wonder if, are they as useless as they were in Dark Souls 1? Very effective against bare flesh, not against enemies with armor or like protection. Well, at least it's up front. The Pyromancy Flame, a flame catalyst used by pyromancers. Pyromancers rouse this flame to produce various fire arts. Equip Pyromancy Flame to produce Pyromancy. Attune Pyromancies at a bonfire. The strength of a Pyromancy depends on the strength of one's Pyromancy Flame, which can be improved through reinforcement. So, same as last time. Not tied to any one of your stats, just whether or not you've leveled up that Pyromancy Flame item. I, uh, got a few more levels between sessions so that I could attune, uh, this one Pyromancy spell I have. And, uh, equip this Pyromancy Flame and use that. Figured it might come in handy. The Hunter's Hat, a leather hat with a large brim traditionally used by bow hunters. The hunting goddess Evlana was no goddess at all, but rather a brave and highly skilled bow huntress. Long after her demise, the passing of Lore transformed her into a deity. That's cool. Brigand Hood. Hood worn by looting brigands. Mountains surround Drang Lake on three sides. Most travelers who try to cross them end up hapless prey to the countless brigands lurking there. Varangian Helm. Helmet worn by Varangians that terrorize nearby seas. Ah, so those piratey, viking-y looking guys I was fighting down in No Man's Wharf. The coastline stretches far in northern Drunk Lake. Beyond this northern sea is an unexplored continent said to be the home of things inhuman. Ooh. Falconer Helm. Helm worn by the Vulgan Falconers. Sounds like a football team. Domestic Vulgan soldiers are infamously timid, so it's no wonder that this fierce band of mercenary falconers was hired to compensate. In practice, they serve as bodyguards for the affluent elite, and they serve well, such that nobody dares scrutinize their backgrounds. Royal Swordsman Armor Armor of a royal swordsman. Its shape provides defense while allowing great mobility. Stripped of ornamentation, this armor is designed strictly for battle. King Vendrick supplied his bravest men with the best armor available to face the great giants, but very few returned alive. I need to keep cranking up my vigor, or no, vitality stat, so that I can, uh wear some of this heavier armor without incurring penalties. Actually, Royal Swordsman armor may not be that heavy. Drang Lake definitely is, though, and I really want to be wearing that. I think I'm wearing the gloves and the feet now. 
I think I can just eke by under that 70% mark with those on. Drang Lake Mail. Belonged to Captain Drummond. Drummond's ancestors have served Drang Lake for generations, principally as defenders of the Great Fort, but Captain Drummond is the last in this proud line. Old Knight Gauntlets. How old could these nearly crumbling gauntlets be? Extremely low durability. Sometimes just as the thing falls to pieces, it unleashes its last flash of great power. So these old knights, I think, are the ones I was, uh, killing out here in, uh, Hyde's, uh, Tower of Flame. So this is a very old place. These knights are interesting. Scion's Leggings. Replica of the leggings of the loyal knight Scion. This solidly crafted gear offers high defense. Sir Scion was widely known as the kingdom's most leal knight, and when the giants invaded, he volunteered to lead the advance party, but was slaughtered most dishonorably. The king commissioned replicas of Scion's accoutrement and bestowed them to promising knights, but not long after they donned the armor did they go thoroughly mad. That's fascinating. I hope to learn more of this character later. Ring of Giants, the beloved ring of the gallant, shieldless Lothian, formerly of Ferosa, increases poise. Lothian was born a peasant and died a general. His determination and diligence were unmatched, especially on the battlefield, where he earned his name by choosing to fight without a shield. Huh. Covetous Silver Serpent Ring and Silver Serpent Ring plus one. Pretty great gift. A silver ring depicting the snake, both the servant and manifestation of the god of greed, Xandro. Greed is traditionally viewed as a vice, but only a fool allows that to ruin a good opportunity. I probably should be equipping this. Maybe instead of the Silver Cat Ring, since I'm not falling off of too many things, currently. Ring of Binding. An unusual ring of unknown origin limits the wearer's HP reduction when hollow. That's important. Now I wish I'd read descriptions a little earlier. Alas, this ring will not make you human. What is lost is not easily retrieved. But if this reduces HP reduction, that's very handy, because I die a lot, you may have noticed. Emit Force, a miracle derived from Force, emits a forward-moving shockwave. Throughout history, there have been many examples of imitative miracles. When discerning original from imitator is nigh on impossible, which is which hardly matters. Fair point. Fireball, a standard spell for pyromancers, creates a fireball that is hurled at foes. To use pyromancies, equip a pyromancy flame to serve as the catalyst, and assign a pyromancy to an attunement slot. Yeah, okay. Bleedstone, an altered state of titanite, used to make weapons lacerating or to provide bleeding reduction to shields. Sorcerers at the Melfian Magic Academy once attempted to imbue titanite with various elements, but are said to have failed. Someone must have exceeded, though. What else would explain this stone? What else indeed? Palestone, another altered state of titanite, used on a weapon or shield to undo all imbued powers. Huh. This does not revert reinforcement, but undoes imbued powers such as magic, fire, or poison, and so on. Well, that was definitely worth doing, if for no other reason than for bringing my attention to the Ring of Binding. Let's go ahead and equip that. Now for the tricky decision. I kind of want that Silver Serpent Covetous Ring as well. Stamina recovery speed. That one's really important. I should keep that. Increases physical attack also seems important. You know what? Let's, um... Let's swap out the Ring of Restoration for... Ring is fragile and breaks easily as if it hates being taken for granted. I hope it does not break when I unequip it. That would make me sad. Okay, good. It's still here. <laughs> Had me worried. Well, all right. Our current gear, as you can see, is our Mace Plus Four, our short bow, our Pyromancy Flame. Can't wait to try that out. Royal Kite Shield, which I've decided to stick with. Still the Royal Soldier Helm, still the Falconer Armor. I've got the Drang Lake Gauntlets and Leggings on, but I can't equip the uh, Drang Lake Armor mail yet without going above 70% equip load and losing my medium roll, so... Gonna hold off on that until I've got my Vitality up a bit. I'm actually going to head back to Majula now and see about this uh, Estus Flask improvement. Alright, so charred ashen bones cast them into the far fire in Majula, which is, I think, this one. I hope it's this one. To increase the HP restored with each use of your flask. They say these are the remains of a saint who cast himself into the bonfire, but we'll never know for sure for certain ashes telling the story. I feel really certain that those are the ashes of Elise. Which is awesome. Alright. 
So, if I click burn, not a human effigy. So apparently, human effigies can be used in a couple different ways. If I just use a human effigy, it makes me human. If I burn one, it prevents invasions for a while. Which, handy thing to know. I'm not getting invaded that often, so I don't really see the need to uh, use them up for that purpose, but um, I don't know, we'll see. But let's try burning this. Hope this is the right thing to do. Yes. Fingers crossed. Some force has strengthened the Estus Flask. Yay. That sounds great. You know what, while I'm here, I just realized item box is an option I have. And, uh, things are getting a little cluttered here, and I'd really like to get rid of these, uh, souls that I don't want to accidentally use doing something stupid. So, give me a sec. Alright, there we go. That's handled. And the first thing I want to do is go take care of some business that I kind of gave up on, perhaps a little prematurely, a few episodes ago. Well, let me get there. All right, making our way back out here because I want to take that thing on. Much more of a pain getting out here now with all these hide knights waking up to fight me, though. Much bigger headache. They take a while to kill. Unless you can do this. In which case, a little easier. Goodbye. Nope, not goodbye. I thought you were- I thought that was goodbye. It was not. Are you kidding me? Ugh. So slow to draw the shield out. That's annoying. I have to fight all these again. Ugh. It is a pretty considerable improvement, having the, uh... Having that Ring of Binding on, though. Because I don't think my... health... has... my maximum health has decreased any further... than that spot where it is now. Yeah, that was a dumb decision on my part. Whew, that nearly got me killed again. Yeesh. Exercise some caution already. Okay, got that one. And... Got that one. Now let's recover this. See, in this circumstance, I appreciate Dark Souls 2's uh, system of having enemies you kill a bunch of times eventually despawn. Because, uh... Going through this area over and over. I guess it's really only been a few times, but... Having to fight back through these guys just to get back over here is a bit of a headache. Ha! Ah, backstab! Technically. Backstab again! Boom, all right. Now, finally, let's deal with what I came to deal with. So I'm told that the dragon's not got a ton of health and that I can charge and attack it. And I'm going to try doing that. We'll see how it goes. Here we go. Can we get there? Can we get there? Just barely! Now we attack! Now we attack! Uh, get your stamina back, hurry up! Eesh. Okay, we're doing fine. Eesh. Careful, careful. Can't t Whoa, we are taking its health down. Jeez. Ow. Ah. Dodged the wrong direction. It's going well, though. 
Yeesh, get out of there. Now hit it again. Yeah! Woo! Fought a dragon. That's way easier than the Hellkite Drake, that's for sure. And there. Ooh, petrified dragon bone. Watch dragon parma. This was profitable in many a way. And now, I bet, I can lower this. Uh, let me get out of the way, just in case. That would be the Dark souls thing, wouldn't it? Just <laughs> hit the switch, lower a huge bridge onto yourself. And die. Alright. Oh, man. Cathedral of Blue. Cool. I take it from the fact that I could actually kill that dragon... Drake thing. I take it that means that... Try boss, therefore, attacking required ahead. Okay. I take it that means that I'm ready to handle this area. I hope it does. Old Radiant Life Gem. Very nice. And... It's safe. Five human effigies. That is great. Thank you very much, Dark Souls 2. And actually, since it just gave me those, and since this might be... Visions of Ghost, by the way, boss. Everyone's saying boss, so... I have many souls, but, um... Definitely not backtracking all that way and fighting through these guys again. So let's use a human effigy. Actually, let's go ahead and equip human effigy. Eh, no. Maybe not. So let's go ahead and use a human effigy here. Humanity restored. Awesome. And do I see... Anyone summonable? Are there any things I can summon to help me? I hope that there are. I would really like to have somebody help me fight. I mean, if I gotta do it alone, I gotta do it alone, but... See, the other reason I want to summon someone to help me fight is that I am told... many of the NPC side quests require you to... bring them in, like, require you to fight with them against bosses to move them forward and progress them. And they, they have to fight with you and they have to not die, importantly. But I'm not seeing anyone to summon, so... Guess we're going it alone. Impossible. Hmm. I'll be the judge of that. Old Dragon Slayer. Old Dragon Slayer. What? Whoa, hey! I know you. What are you doing here? What are you doing here, old pal? I like the new armor, though. Yeesh. You learned a new move. Alright. Take it easy. Take it easy. Slow and steady. For real, though, Ornstein, why are you here? Yeah. Yeah. Yeesh. He's quick. Just like I remember. Come on, try something. Gotcha. Come on, you. I spent a lot of time fighting you back in the day. Crumbs. Ah, I bet that's the, uh, dark damage type. I uh, hope that wasn't bad timing. Okay. Ah, too slow, too slow. 
Ah! It's chaining four of those together now. That's rough. Ah! Nuts. Oh no. Okay, careful. Careful! Whew. Man, I've only got one Estus Flask left. Alright, careful! Yeesh. He's tough. He's tough as I remember. At least he hadn't got his friend here anymore, right? That would be worse. Ah! I underestimated his reach. Which is a silly thing to do. Oh boy. Which is a silly thing to do against a guy with a spear. Ah! That's bad. How am I alive? I'm dead. Oh. Wow, though. Wow, though. Whew. So now here's the question. Do I go through all that trouble to get back there and try fighting him again? Or do I save that fight for a later time, since I do have another area I could go? Ah, let's give him one more crack. I gotta say, fighting these guys really has turned into a huge nuisance. <laughs> ah! Ah, come on! So picky with your backstabs. Ah! Reckless. Come on. There we go. Down, boy! There we go. Alright. Time for attempt number two. I'd use another effigy just to see if a summon sign popped up, but, uh... Kinda don't want to waste them. When apparently there's no help to be had. So... Wonder if I should try using, like, an aromatic ooze or something. Yeah, I'll try it. Just to give it my best shot. Alright, so... Let's get that thing going here. And get in there. There we go. Ow! All right. Ah. He's quick. He's quick. I should use this at a better time than here. But. Ah. All right, got him. Can't really tell if it did much more damage, though. Ah, come on. Hit him! Oh, jeez. Hey, I made it! Oh boy, what's happening? Okay. Ah! Roll toward him, roll toward him! Remember your training! Ah! Eh. No! Woohoo, that's... Too close for comfort. Use that item. Quickly. Alright, there goes the ooze, so it's gone. Ah. Oh boy, here we go, here we go. Alright, we're safe. Going okay, but it could be going better. Ah, roll toward him. Come on.
come on. Ah. <laughs> all right. Got one hit in, but I didn't want to use up all of my stamina just in case something went south on me. Come on. Yeah! I don't know what you were doing here, but goodbye again, Ornstein. Oh, man. <laughs> that was awesome. Old Dragon Slayer Soul and Old Leo Ring. Whoo! Well, that was intense. And a lot to absorb in a single episode. When we come back, I will press on further with... No, I won't. I've got an absurd number of souls. I will be maybe back here after having spent some souls when we come back. But anyway, I will see you folks next time. Thank you for watching.